everybody so today's video is a product empties video i feel like i film these videos a concerning amount of times i don't know how i get through so many products i say this every time but i really don't understand it because i've got another bag full look at this so i'm just gonna go through everything that's in this bag and just briefly talk about it because I did also have a little makeup clear out a few weeks ago, so that's probably why. But shall we crack in? I don't know where to start, really. The third product is this collection sheer loose powder. By the way, some things in here, including this product here, I've actually, what the heck is this? I've actually had for a while um, that's ran out, but I've just kept it in case I wanted to use it in a video because this technically hasn't run out, but, I found a different, better one. This is claiming to be a sheer powder. I, this claimed, I think it claimed to be translucent, translucent, I'm not too sure, but basically it isn't. When, as soon as that goes onto your skin, this is not translucent in any way, shape or form. It actually adds some color and it is not the right color for my skin tone. It made me look orange and I didn't like it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. But well, as you can see, everything's rubbed off on it. But yeah, it does. It says it's in the shade number two translucent. Well, surely if it's translucent, then it shouldn't be like a shade. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I didn't like this and I wouldn't recommend it because it's you know, got pigmentation to it rather than being translucent. So this next product is this Little Sun Cream SPF Spray. This was SPF 30, as you can see, and it's basically a spray rather than like a cream. So you'd just literally go like this and like spray it on. And I so, and I so much prefer this to any other sun cream because it's so quick and easy. Like literally, I was on holiday with my friends. I'll just grab this, spray it on my arms, quick rub in and go. You don't waste time pouring out product, patting it on your arms, you just spray it and go. So it's super easy and I really liked that. I then have this, these Sanctuary Spa Luxury Bath Float. And basically this is like bubble bath. There is actually some product left in here. So maybe I should like let my mum like have this or something um, or just put this in the bathroom in case somebody wants to use it because I haven't been using it. I used it up to here, but then not anymore. So I think I will actually just put it in the bathroom in case somebody else wants to use it. Next product is this Impulse be surprised fragrance it's a body spray i don't tend to buy body sprays anymore i prefer getting body mists rather than an actual kind of spray like this but it's decent next up we have the collection primed and ready setting spray i did i did i did actually repurchase this and i have got a new one of this this is the best setting spray i've ever tried the actual spray of it if you know what i mean like the actual stuff that comes out like it has a really nice fine spray it is at the end i promise it's just a few more little sprays left in it um but this is for people who don't want their skin to be oily and dewy a lot of setting sprays are meant for dewy skin but this is actually meant for oily skin and it makes your makeup matte rather than oily which i really really like and blends everything in together really really nicely it makes your skin look less powdery which is the main reason why i use it basically i think if you can look in the mirror and think oh something looks weird about my makeup then you know that the product does good because i often when i don't use a setting spray look in the mirror and think something's different about my makeup and i don't like it and then i go and use that spray and i'm like that was it um this mascara from rimmel this is the rimmel wonderfully real extreme black mascara and this is what the packaging looked like i got this given to me in my first rimmel box box from influencer that i got sent and it just kind of ran out basically but it's not it was actually a pretty decent mascara. It definitely gave length to my lashes. It didn't necessarily give a lot of volume, but it did give a lot of length, so I'll give it that. But it ran out. What can you do? I would not repurchase. Um, then I actually found this hidden in my room somewhere. It must have fallen down the back of somewhere or something like that. But this is the Scar... The Scarnia. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Gel Wash. 
and I used to obsess about this on my channel like if you remember I used to obsess about this a few months ago this was amazing removing my makeup and cleansing my skin I have found a different Garnier product which actually does the same thing but this is meant for removing makeup and it works so so well so I would still highly recommend this but I have found another product that's specifically for oily skin from Garnier that also works well so I'm using that at the minute but it is a really good product. I then have this moisturiser from Nivea. This is the Nivea Daily Essentials Light Moisturiser. It has SPF 15 in it which is always really really good so this is a good one to use in a day because obviously it has that sun protection in it so that when you go out you've got your sun cream on sort of a light layer because even when it's not direct sunlight you can still get sun damage even when it's not kind of technically summer so it's always good to have SPF in your moisturizer or your foundation then sticking on the theme of moisturizers I've got this one here which is the just a Tesco one it's a daily moisturizer and it has cucumber extract in it this is a really refreshing one so this feels definitely very I don't know cooling and refreshing to wake up to and put on in the morning I wouldn't use this one at night because it's way too light I like to have a thick moisturizer on at night but it's definitely a good one for the daytime I then have this nail varnish and actually I do need to sort out my nail polish kind of collection because there's so many of them are dry and old and dead but I have this one here and this is just a pink one I don't even know what the brand is, but like it is absolutely dead. Like it's gone. It's never been more dry in its entire life. Like there's absolutely no product in here because it's all completely dry. And I've never seen a completely dry bottle of nail polish in my life. Like usually it gets a bit sticky and a bit dry and sometimes you can't get the lid off. This is completely dry, the whole bottle. So I must have had that a good few years. Then, we have a scrub which I didn't even realize I'd actually kept but this is a body scrub from the French Connection and oh yeah and I actually really liked this when I had it my friend Emily got me this and it came with a body spray and I absolutely love the scent of the body spray that she got me um, with this but this is definitely very very concerningly old so that's why I needed to throw it out I don't know why I kept it sometimes I keep these things and I don't know why so that's definitely going I then have this Nivea kind of little pot here and it just looks like this and it just has some kind of oh my god cream in it the cream you probably don't want to look at this but basically the cream started to curdle or something like it started to go funny and when that happens you know you've had it for like three years longer than you should have done so we'll get rid of that oh I then have the revolution conceal and define concealer this is probably one of my favorite things in this whole kind of product empties this is a great concealer it doesn't actually have as much product in as the usual concealers do but anyway this one is in the shade c3 oh I swear I got the one in the shade c1 last time this is in the shade c3 and the one that I picked up now is in the shade c1 for brightening but it was really really good it's great full coverage the formula is nice it blends out really really easily and i would definitely recommend giving these a go revolution have still got these going they've added some more shades of these so they've got a higher shade range and they've also made a bigger version of these ones so the jumbo sized and i think the applicator is a lot bigger um in the bigger version of this and also you know the amount of product that you get is also bigger so i might try getting that one but obviously the price is more and they've also come out with a foundation which looks exactly like this bottle but giant like big and it also has a doe foot applicator as the foundation applicator so that's going to be my next foundation that i try because it sounds really good and people's reviews on it sound good so yeah that was a good concealer and i've rebought that since i then have this powder from natural collection and it's just a really nice cheap powder the reason why i haven't completely completely finished it is because you know when you use a powder so much that it gets to the stage where not really any pigmentation comes off because it gets that kind of oily layer around it where you just have to kind of rub that off well this is really cheap anyway and I just picked up a one pound powder from Poundland and that's amazing I think I'm going to put that in my September favorites because it is really really good that powder and it works well so I thought I might as well just throw this out because when a powder is a pound you don't have to use it to the absolute end this wasn't a pound but my Poundland was one was then we delve into the bag I have this 
um, Primark brow gel. I had this for ages and it was clear once upon a time, but now it's kind of a little bit dirty, sadly. But I really liked using this because I would just kind of get a little bit of, I'd do my brows like normal, get a little bit of this gel, run it through my brows and they would stay in place. They would literally like, usually what happens is if I put a jumper on or something like that, some of my eyebrow hairs will just come down and it's really annoying because then I have to brush them through again. Whereas if I use this eyebrow gel, they would stay completely in place all day long. So I'm gonna try and see if I can find this next time I go into Primark. And then we have this mascara from Sleek. This is just a miniature bottle that came with the Christmas, or it came with a gift set anyway. And it's an okay mascara. Wouldn't really recommend it that much. Don't think it really did too, too much. It has dried out now, um, but obviously there wasn't that much product in it anyway. The brush was way too big. I don't like the brush. I'll just show you actually. It was too big. It kind of ends up getting all, you know, it all over, which is not ideal. And it didn't give that much volume or length. So overall, wouldn't recommend. Um, then I have the Benefit High Beam Highlighter um, little pot thingy, liquid highlighter. I know it looks like the whole thing is full of product, but actually I did run out of this. I just added some water to it to see if that would make it still work, which it did, but I bought some new ones. In fact, I got sent some new ones. Um, I got sent a new um, liquid highlighter, so I thought I might as well throw this out. It didn't blend out very easily though, I do have to say. It was a bit of a struggle to blend that one out. I then have this eyeliner here, which is from, was it from the collection? I think it's from the collection or now, oh no, hang on, I think this actually might have been from Poundland. Yeah, this was from Poundland years ago, so I had this for ages, but I have got another one since, and it still works really, really well. It was only a pound, obviously, and it's actually grey, but it's been going for years, like it's not running out at all. So I'm actually really impressed with this. So I would recommend going to Poundland to get their eyeliners. I've then got this little pot which contains, oh, what's it called? Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. My mum just got me a little tester to try out. I don't really like that foundation because it's too full coverage for me and too cakey, but works for her. I've also got a miniature version of the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer run out of that. I don't really need to talk about this because everybody on YouTube has gone on about the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. It's high coverage, but I do find that it doesn't actually blend out as nice as some others that I've had. And then finally, I have this, which is a lipstick from Max Factor. My Auntie Jen gave this to me to use. I don't think it worked with her or she didn't like it. I don't like it either. Basically, when you put it on your lips, it's like a matte liquid lipstick so you put it on your lips but as soon as you rub your lips together it goes disgusting like really bitty and it just does not look great so wouldn't recommend this um i'll give this to my mum see if she wants it but i don't really think anybody would want this to be honest with you because it just goes really kind of bitty and horrible and it isn't great it's quite sheer though which is weird when i first got it i thought it was a gloss but no it's a matte lipstick that goes really really weird on your lips so that is everything from my little bag. As you can see, nothing is left in here. That's another month of product empty. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.